Oh, goodness me. It's finally got there. What have I got inside? This extraordinary thing here. It's one of these little jumper things with a spring in it, and there's a sucker there which creates a little vacuum. When you squeeze it together, it slowly overcomes the vacuum, air comes in, and the spring is free to open up to the full size with a bang. Something you could put in a balloon, something I've only thought of quite recently. And a transparent balloon, which is more fun than a, a coloured balloon, which you can't see inside. And it means all sorts of things can happen when you've got clear balloons like that. You can just add things and put them into them and have fun with it. So amongst the many balloon toys I've got, these are ones which have something inside it for the most part. This is something I thought of quite a few years ago, originally with Smarties, but there's an English 10p piece there. The 10p poise is, um, it's got knurled edges, which means it makes a noise like that. It's a little whizzing sort of noise. You can hear from the sound of it how fast it's going. And it does perfect little ellipses and circles which goes on and on and on and on for an extraordinary length of time because the friction in there is so slight and so little it just goes on and on and on and then to the kids it's a great delight that's one there's another version of the thing which is english money again where you have two five p pieces and this time they'll see the they're starting to perform little circles around each other as if they're two satellites orbiting around the sun Sometimes they've got holding hands, and sometimes they're about 180 degrees apart, and something, oh well, I've stopped too quickly. It was a really heavy orbit there. So lots of fun with that, with two coins is even more exciting to watch than with one single coin. So simple to do, just a transparent, and away you go. This is another thing I've put into a balloon, it's one of those little, well, you'll hear it in a minute. that banging sound. Well, they're called blaster balls. They've been out for many, many years. They have little caps embedded on the outside, about 300 caps, and then painted over blue or red. And when they bang together and the caps come together, they bang. Make a nice noise. Isn't that fun to do in a balloon, though? That's something that's never been done before. Oops. And then there's a very simple idea of a balloon, where you put a little sort of um, a little capsule thing with seeds in it, and it makes a nice noise like a... Maracas. And then you do your South American dances. And when you finish, there's the actual piece itself inside. When you finish playing with it, it's got a non-return switch which you don't need. Just that, you just tie it up and it deflates. You put it in your pocket at the end of the gig uh, for the nightclub and go home. The last item I was going to show is something that we had in the Christmas pack not that long ago, which is the Bernoulli theorem, which says that when you have two balloons, you blow like that, it blows away from you, and that blows that way, and that blows that way. But if you blow in between the balloons, in that central passage, it creates a movement of air which causes a partial vacuum. It's lower than the atmosphere around it. So the, this side has been pushed in, that side has been pushed in, and this is what happens. And try and get to come together. Like that. Partial vacuum. And they're not together completely counterintuitively. You think they'd blow away off, blow away, but they don't. They come together and touch. Very nice effect that, and very counterintuitive. Bernoulli, remember the name.